Well, hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to our Tuesday night open TTD live stream. Hello, everybody. How are you all? I'm not central, so I'm going to just fix that. There we go. That's better, isn't it? Hey, the charity f uh, event was fun, don't you think, says Brandon. I think it was. I thoroughly enjoyed myself, and we raised money for charity, and we smashed our target. It was all brilliant. Chegzo Kid says, uh, was funny watching you guys play Altitude. Yes, Altitude, well, that was the first time we've really played Altitude. Um, Altitude is now a public community server. Okay, so we've now got that all so up and sorted. Oh yeah, by the way folks, I know we're not live on Twitch. Okay, it's not a problem on my end, it's a problem somewhere else. So, there's not much I can do about it. But to be honest, it cost me money to be able to stream to Twitch and not many people watch on Twitch and the bit rate is like a quarter of what it is on YouTube I'm beginning to think I should not even bother ever streaming to Twitch just do YouTube why not eh um Timon says uh <laughs> it was fun what I watched the winner was predictable I, I think the winner wasn't as predictable as what some people think uh we've been through this Brandon see if you can remember what we we spoke about because I streamed to multiple places I have to pay Restream to transcode my 20k stream down to below 6k so it can go to Twitch. So yeah. Hey Graham. Yeah, it's good fun. You remember now, don't you? I, I could tell. We, we had a chat about it. I'm just putting some stuff on my lips. My lips are dry. Hey Joe. Oh, we haven't got the timer. We haven't got the Where's the timer gone? Let's put that timer back on. So if you are not watching live and you want to skip forward to the gameplay, uh, you can do so. Just uh, just keep going forward in the video until that timer gets to zero. That's when we're going to start the gameplay. Oh, yes. So it's, it was good. The event was good. Brandon hasn't got his prize yet. I've been busy. So um, for those of you in the know, uh, my websites, and I've got a few of them, are all run on a uh, content management system called Joomla. And Joomla version 3 is going out of service. They're going to stop doing security updates for it in a few months' time. So I've got to move all of my websites to version 3. And it is not straightforward. <laughs> it's not straightforward. Um, one of them has successfully been moved. So uh, Fantastic Free Games is now on version 4. Uh, one of them is already on version 4, but that's because version 4 was out and stable when I started that website. So uh, the next thing, uh, I think, will be to try and get the Master Hellish website, which is a much bigger beast. Fantastic Free Games has, I think, no... Oh, it only has one, pl uh, one extension, and it's um, a template. Whereas Master Hellish has at least four, probably more. <laughs> and we've got to get Hellish Tools working with it as well. Hellish Tools might just completely and utterly break when we move from version 3 to 4, and I'll have to make some changes to fix it, so we'll have to see how that goes. That's my life at the minute. I spent my entire lunch break today. Uh, I, I, I code for a day job, and then I spent my entire lunch break trying to get my websites upgraded and fixing things and updating this and changing that. It's great, isn't it, eh? All this stuff to be a streamer. <laughs> all, this, all this stuff to be a content creator. Like if you're a content creator, you have to know about audio, you have to know about video, you have to be good at lighting, you have to be able to handle social media, you need to do a marketing, you need to have a website, or have people to do that sort of thing for you, and we cannot afford that. Um, L Chicken says, thanks for the charity event, uh, played for some of the time and uh, with you and really enjoyed the time. I'm glad you enjoyed it. We're probably going to have a go on some of those servers uh, sometime soon. Uh, remember... Fistful of Frags, T-Worlds, Altitude, and now the brand new server, Zonatic, are all freely available for my community to use. Okay, so the viewer, there are, we have some servers that are viewer plus. Uh, for example, uh, we have a, a viewer plus open TTD server, Minecraft, DayZ, Space and Engineers. Uh, we also have a Zomboid and Farming Sim server when we want to turn them on and off. Um, but those those four are currently free for anybody in my community to use, whether you're viewer plus or not. Ah, Harry Pig, hello, welcome to the stream. Good evening, computer drum master. Uh, some could say that you don't even need to worry about the lighting these days with the popularity of uh, VTubers. Um, 
I I disagree. I I'm especially when I'm thinking at it from a photography standpoint. Like lighting is important. Like I can tell now that my lighting isn't right. Like I've got a button I need to press. Actually, that's not on my list, is it? Eh? I don't think so. There we go. Let's let's switch the lighting over. Um, the background's now blue, but beside that, I've got a fill light around. So I've got two studio. Oh, I might be able to show you on cam two. Let's try cam two out. Okay, let's move cam to a little bit. There we go. So you can see that I've got these two studio lights, and there, there's the other camera. There's cam one. You might be able to just make it out in the gap over the top of my monitor. This, this camera here, this is just for work, okay? But then I've also got this strip going around the edge of my desk, and it's going both sides, um, and that gives an extra fill around, and I can tell the difference in the quality. I can tell the difference in the quality. It makes a difference. It does. Um, there we go. Um, if you try and log into the site, you get a message say fail to authenticate, access denied. You, you mean the Master Hellish website? Maybe access to fail to authenticate. Well, so that would suggest that your user uh, username or password is wrong. Um, so maybe give it a maybe do the go through the reset process. Uh, if you are going through the reset process, don't have multiple tabs in your browser open with your various different attempts because you could potentially mess up security keys and it'll make it difficult. Yes, yes. Uh, the the only time I've ever seen that access denied is w one of two reasons. Either you have not done the email verification to verify your email address or your login credentials have been entered incorrectly. Those are the only two reasons I've ever seen for that message so far. Uh, Joe says, my birthday on Thursday. Well, happy birthday in advance, Joe. Uh, well, we are, are we doing a live stream this Thursday? We are. Okay, so if you if you are uh, taking a break or kicking back in your birthday celebrations, uh, we, are, we are live streaming on Thursday. We've got City Skylines. The plan, the rough plan, is to do City Skylines on Thursdays until June. Now, I'm taking a break in June, and when we come back in July, we'll start a new series of something. That's the plan. I like it. It's a good plan. Um, Chexo Kids says, I'm logging into the portal. Okay. So just a little clarification on the portal. So the portal, the interaction portal, is an extra bit built on the side of the website. The portal does not manage... Uh, or or do login at all. That's why there's a, a button at the top of the corner that says back to main site. It's it's like a completely different website. It technically is. But because the two websites, the actual Master Hellish website and the portal sit in the same bucket, they can actually access each other's data if they want to. Now, the Master Hellish website doesn't give, you know, it doesn't care about um, the portal. But the portal can look at the Master Hellish website data and goes, "Who's logged in? Who's logged in?" Uh, and and it can and if the website goes no one, then the portal goes, "Oh, you need to go and log in." Which is why you can't log in on the portal and you have to click the button to go and log in on the website. Now there are ways that I could change and do really, really, really clever things, um, but the kind of effort doesn't outweigh the benefit. Like. Everybody just having to click one link when they when they go to the site and they're not logged in is so much better than trying to get a whole special system up and going. Um, you'll try and make a new password first then because the account went before. Okay, cool. Yeah, that, that's the thing to try. Looks like uh, Dave has just entered the giveaway for Skyrim. We have um, monthly giveaways on the go at the moment. We've got Skyrim and we've got uh, something else. Oh, the ten pound Steam voucher for the ten year giveaways and all that sort of thing. Uh, check it out. Your password manager has an old password. There we go. So yeah. Uh, uh, so far with the main Master Hellish website, we've never had any person try and log in, and it be just not working because it's broken. There's always like some sort of reason, like. Uh, an error typing in the password or a password manager with the old password um, or maybe a key on a keyboard not working so you think you're typing the letter but it's not or you haven't um, verified your email that's a big one the number of people that 
um, don't verify, uh, click on the verification link in the email um, because you need to do that before you log in. Uh, so there we go. Timmons says clever is not always better. I, I would, uh, caps lock, <laughs> that, ca that can catch people out, can't it? I do those things myself. But so far, the main website has never been just broken um, in, in that sort of thing. Anyway, we're going to get on with the content in a minute, get into the game. I have something else to catch you all up on. Uh, I've actually got two things. So, uh, yes. Um, right, first thing. We're going to have to go through this a little bit quickly. Um, keep the 10th of June free because it's highly likely we're going to be doing a big 10-year anniversary stream on that day. It's a Saturday. I'm planning on starting from 10 o'clock in the morning. I don't know how long we're going to be streaming. It might be 12 hours. We're going to be playing games like the ones we did in the charity event, uh, but it won't be competitive and it won't be long matches. We'll be doing short rounds and games. It'll also be very ad hoc. We'll just like this either decide amongst us what we're going to do. Maybe we'll do a vote or spin the wheel to find out what the next game is. And we'll also do some other things like... Um, or maybe Super Tux car? Have we got a server for that? No, we haven't. That's a good one as well. Um, but we also might do some of those ones that you integrate with Twitch and things, like um, Stream Racer and things like that. So we'll see. Um, that's going to be really good. Um, above the line says, already got Skyrim on Xbox, so definitely be passing on this game giveaway. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. Um, interestingly, the game giveaways, uh, like the games that I'm giving away this year, were decided by the viewers. Um, I had a look at the top 10 most performing series on my YouTube channel that weren't free games, and they were the ones I did. They're the uh, Was it 12? Might have been top 12. Might have been top 12. You can hear Open TTD opening in the background. And the last thing I've got to share with you, once this game's loaded, and I make sure everything's okay, Ah, my interface size has changed. Okay, um, I took part in an event at the weekend. It was an open TTD event. Um, I can't give any previews or details because a video is going to be made about it. So if you want to see uh, a video by the Spiffin Brit, uh, where you might catch a glimpse of me playing open TTD in the background, uh, keep an eye out for that video coming out uh, somewhere in the three to five week mark i reckon you never know you might spot me so if you want to see that keep an eye out on spiff's channel uh so that's it i think we've covered everything uh, we'll continue to talk but for now let's jump into open ttd now like i said my interface size um has changed a little bit so if we go into i don't know like the train list this is a bit smaller than i normally have it so just bear with me a second Gonna go into game op. No, not game. Op uh, yeah, game options. Game options. Change the interface scaling from uh, 1.25 to 2, and this is ha the size that I normally do it at. If I was just playing Open TTD uh, by myself, I would probably choose an interface scaling somewhere on the 1.25, 1.5 mark. But because I know uh, at least 30% of my audience watch on a mobile device. I make it bigger so everybody can see it. Hey, DJ. Yes, there is a chance for a cameo. I The video hasn't even been created yet, so I don't know what's in it. How many crashes did you have in Spiff's game? I will tell you that... Uh, oh, actually, let me think. Did I have a crash? I didn't have a crash this time. Spiff did a live stream where I did. I had a crash. Uh, why have we got a train? Oh, what? Why is there two little trains? And what are they doing? Where are they? Oh, they're over in the preservation lands. Um, what what are they the, complaining about? I don't know. Okay. I'd love to get back to the preservation lands. There's a lot of cool stuff that we're going to be doing there, as well as the other area. But we are uh, deep into um, digging into uh, making ourselves lots of vehicles. Now, the money is brilliant. We've got $272 million in the bank account. And over in Hellish City, let's see, we are looking pretty good in most areas, okay? So even, even sodium hydroxide has started to come up now. Did we have any train crashes in the char charity live stream? I don't think we did have one in the charity live stream. Oh, you know, um, on the tenth of um, on the tenth of June, 
when we're going to be doing the anniversary stream, we might also have an, uh, a server of OpenTTD running in the background as well. So people can play OpenTTD and hang out in the stream or potentially come and join some of the other games. I don't know. Uh, it's a possibility, so let me know. If you've got any ideas for that stream, either shout out in the chat or come and pop them in the ideas. Uh, put them in the... What do you call it? The general... Uh, oh, hang on, I need to scroll. The general forum, and there's an ideas tag. Use that. Uh, okay, so um, we need to get some vehicles in because that's the only thing that's not been supplied. But this line is clogged up. Okay, so we've got a clog. There it is, completely black backed up um, on the coal line. Now, last time I redid this. And we had a train crash, and it was horrible, and everything was all backed up, and it was terrible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and do this coal line, and I'm going to try and do it correctly, where last time I did it terribly. Um, wouldn't people just then play Open TTD and not join the other games? Uh, that's a good point, DJ. Maybe we can switch between like Open TTD and then play some other games, and then back into Open TD, ETTD. Maybe we could start with Open TTD and finish with it, and do some other games in the middle. Uh, hi Max, welcome to the stream. So the first thing I'm going to do is prepare the station for the new lines, then I will do some other stuff. So looking at the station, we want to be able to get this station set up so that we've got, uh, th we're going to do it so that we're going to accept three different lots of lines. And at the moment we've only got two coming in. But I'm going to do it so that each set of platforms is three long. Okay, so we're going to have to delete something somewhere to fit it all in. So I think what we'll do is that I will remove all of this. Now, what, that shouldn't remove the station. Yeah, train in the way. So we have to go station uh, one by one and then remove just to get rid of these bits. Oh, look, they've got track inside some of these. Interesting. Did not know that. There we go. And what we're going to do, we're going to make these bottom three one of the uh, station areas. So let's get station, ISR, and we'll get the uh, drag and drop on that. I'll make sure I get it the right way around this time. There we go. So that means I've got three here, then I've got three in the middle, and I've got one platform on the end, and then we can have three lots of three. So we're going to have to get rid of these roads, this road, and these buildings. That's going to knock the population of Hellish City down a little bit, but you know what? Got to get it done. There we go. They are station tiles. Some of them did have it, some of them didn't, Brandon. So there we go. Uh, now we can look at the way that we're going to connect this up uh, at some point soon. So there we go. So there we go. We've got, we've got the platforms in. We're not going to mess around with the junction at the front of the platforms. That's what I did wrong last time. What we need to do is start at this end and get things flowing off and in the right direction. Now, these depots could potentially cause us some issues, but we're going to just leave plenty of space and might have to get rid of these depots, see how it goes. In fact, let's, ooh, let's not get rid of those depots just yet, shall we? Uh, we will have to completely redo this, but we're going to get ready with the lines. We're going to get ready with the station line. So we're going to need an in here, and then an out, and then an in and out, and out. And it's all very, very wonky, <laughs> very wonky and difficult. Uh, we'll cut them off, and then we'll connect them back up again at some point. So let's let's do that now. So we deliberately cut the in. And then we're going to unpause the game to get these trains all out. It's going to cause us a little bit of a problem for a short amount of time. But we need to make sure that this area that we're going to be reconfiguring is empty before we do anything else. Okay. You're expecting the platform to go the wrong way. Well, you never know. You might, you know, that might happen this stream. Um, there we go. Right. So that train is on its way out. Let's just give us a bit more space. So now this area is completely clear. We can start reconfiguring it. So let's just get rid of what we have. And 
put the land back. So you can see down here we've got these bits like this. What we're going to do is move this one forward because I want to use the technique of having a signal facing the wrong way to deter the trains from using the middle platform. The middle platform is going to be like a bonus. So the way we do it is we have one line coming in and two lines coming out like this. And we could probably put some depots in with either tunnels or stuff. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. And I want to have at least 12, so a train length's worth of run on this before they merge together. And when they merge together, I think we're going to have a preference, like something like this. So we're going to do that, okay? And then the train line for the inn is going to have to go through a tunnel. There we go. So then we've got in and out there. And that's our first set. So we've got one coming in, some coming out. Oh, I need to change the signal type. There we go. Brilliant. Uh, you've, you've got a forbidden piece of track at the junction. That's fine. That forbidden piece of track is fine. It's only forbidden if it's between two depots. Now, speaking of depots, I want a double depot in here somewhere. I could... I think I, I'm going to do it with some tunnels. I don't see why not. So we'll go down here and here. Ah, right. We're going to... Ooh. Yeah, I can't do it like that because the, the land would deform in the wrong way. So instead, maybe we can use humpy depots. Let's try that. So we're going to go up here. Yeah. Oh, no. I didn't want to go up again. So if we do this, do that. Pop a tunnel in here. This one can go over. And we pop our depots in. Now, this is where we have to get rid of that forbidden piece of track. Okay, so it's it's only forbidden between two depots. Okay. So, to me, that looks all right. But the problem is, is that we're going to have another section here. So, that's essentially just one load. Uh, we'll have another signal before the depot. In fact, we may as well just... Oh, I need to change my signal spacing. I changed my signal spacing for playing on... Uh, in, in Spiff's event. There we go. I suppose having the signals down here doesn't matter at the moment. Why is it forbidden? Okay. Um, if a train gets lost and it ends up in one of these depots, it will keep crossing between the de two depots backwards and forwards, being lost. And it will just get stuck there and go backwards and forwards. It can cause a blockage. The train doesn't get anywhere. It all goes horribly wrong. But if you remove that piece of track, the train can't go backwards and forwards between the two depots. Now, it's still lost, but because you've got one-way signals, it forces the train to continue down the track. And if it continues down the track, gets to the end, turns around, or gets to a junction, very often it can get unlost. And in either case, it's then not causing a blockage. So it's a forbidden piece of track because in a double depot situation like this, trains could get stuck at it. Hey Elaine, welcome. Oh, Apple Fumble, welcome. Finally caught a live stream. Super sad to, sad to have missed the charity event. Well, you can watch it. You can watch it uh, on YouTube. Um, and also, we're going to be having an event on the uh, 10th of June as well. So keep an eye out for that. Um, what did Czech Zoe Kids say? Uh, oh, okay. They don't have to move from left to right with the two merge. They don't have to, but it's good to give them the option just in case. So then we're going to do the same thing here. So we're going to have a nice... We're going to get these three coming out. And this isn't the main thing that we're doing today. We're going to be doing some other stuff. We've got that... Uh, what is it? We've got uh, steel and acid to sort out. There we go. You're right in saying that they shouldn't need it. Let's put that single signal in there. That's the middle depot just acts as like an extra one. Now, looking at my design here, I can tile it, but we're just going to have to have tunnels all the way down. That's not a problem. So it'll be tunnel, 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 no, tunnel, tunnel, tunnel. We go over there, we go over here, and you're starting to see the pattern. 
There we go. Um, what we got here? Oh yes, depots. Depot, 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 depot. Remove the track. Remove the track. Um, tr now this is where I need to be careful about how I'm linking things up. So I'm not going to link it just yet. I'm going to get the bit that comes down. Oh no! There we go. So you need to go under here and pop that in. Uh, get our signals. So there's our inputs into the junction, and one before the uh, the uh, the depots, and one before the station. There we go. Careful, you don't cause another crash. I won't, Joe. We're going to do it right. You're going to start watching it later. Nice. Uh, and then over here we've got the other one as well. So we can do the same thing here. Um, go across. We don't need that. Little bit down there. Little bit down there. Tunnel under. And signals too. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, signal on the way in there. And si oh, hang on. We haven't got the we haven't got the the junction here. We need the the little junction. Um, you know what? I can't think of a realistic scenario where you'd need that piece of track. So I'm going to remove it just because it's a little unnecessary, not because it's a forbidden piece of track. Okay, so the station is reconfigured and ready for accepting trains. What we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the existing line is connected to the in and out of the middle set of platforms, okay? So the middle set of platforms, these middle three, are going to act as our entire station until the other trains start using the other ones, okay? So then what we're going to do is we're going to get these two pieces of track to come down here. And we want them to go under this railway, and I want them to go in under unstaggered. So, the tunnel is going to be slightly longer than what we probably would need, but it's still less than like half a train length, so that's not too bad. We got these depots here that's going to force us to go around them, but that's okay. Uh, we can just sneak past whatever that is, and there's nothing wrong with a little kink. So we can just go like this. And there we go. And then we can come all the way up here, and I guess we need to be careful about changing changes in land height. Uh, also, it's weird that it goes out, round, and in. Uh, I think I'm going to do a little bit of land changing. So we're going to we're going to flatten that bit off, and then we're going to give it a should we give it a diagonal and then make it go down? That could potentially cause quite a bit of I mean, we ideally want a diagonal of 12. Should we make it go down and then diagonal? Yes, yes, we'll do that. So we're going to make it go down here. Oh, maybe one, one further along. Let's get that right. There we go. Make it go down there. So we're going to come along here. Then we'll go diagonal for a while. So... To like but actually pretty much to line up works then I'll do it correctly and then we'll go down by a couple as well so I'm gonna put one piece of track in just to help me line it up we're gonna have a little embankment then we'll go down by one and just bring this track back. Come out by 12. And there we go. Nice. Now, we've got a little bit of extra land here. We'll just clean that up. And that one is pretty much done. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect both of these lines up. And once that train's out of the way. So let's just... Can that train move? Not yet. Okay, we'll come back to that. 
Elaine says, oh, I've still got mod powers. Yes, Elaine, we didn't go around nuking you from everywhere. So, and we're not bothered about that. That's fine. Um, we'll clean them up as and, as and when we have the time and space to do so. And then we'll do exactly the same with the other side. I suppose it would be nice if it was relatively symmetrical around here. The only problem is, is that this line is diagonal. So going under it is a bit of a pain. So maybe we can't. Maybe we need to do... We've got a two space there. So let's give this one a two space. And go under the track here. Is that right? Lovely. Okay. And then we can come down here a little bit. Now this one will actually need to come out down there. Ah. I'm going to have to temporarily give it a wiggle and then take the wiggle out later. Mm, I don't like that. But that's what we're having to do. There we go. We'll just connect it up. Um, <laughs> you thought about banning Brandon. Yeah, I think we've all thought about banning Brandon, right? <laughs> Uh, I jest, of course. Uh, and then we need to go around this town. So we will go around the town. Uh, which will require us to have another wiggle. But it's a wiggle in the right direction, so that's fine. And then this corner needs to have ideally a corner in of 12. Oh, look at that. Is that experience or is that luck or it is a little bit of both, eh? And that's where that line connects. So then what we do is we get our signals in from here. And now both of these lines are completely empty and they've been added and we haven't really changed the middle line. And all we do is we come in here and say, hey, trains that are going forward, yeah, you can't use that anymore. And then you go, and you do the same here, but there's a train in the way, so I can't. Uh, so let's, let's unpause the game. And then this line will no longer be needed. Okay, we can get rid of that in the future. And all the trains will just come back along the old line and eventually won't need it anymore. So we can get rid of it. Hey, we forgot to spin the wheel about how many giveaways we were going to do. Oh, here we go. Look, our train's about to move forward. Oh, and another train's in the way. You know what? I'm getting rid of that bit of track because that train might have moved forward while this train was in the way. And actually, we're going to get to leap that and just put that back there. There we go. So now all the trains that are trying to head down to that station, I'm going to use the new lines. Uh, the only thing that we need to do is come back here later to straighten this bit out once once it's cleared a little bit. Because it's a little bit backed up. Okay. Now what we can do to help the situation is also add some extra depots. So we can... Oh, that's, there's a bit of downland there. So let's add a depot in there. These depots are going to help trains that have broken down because they've been waiting for an eternity. We'll come back and get rid of them later. So one there as well, maybe. And we'll put one here. Okay. So there we go. All the new trains are now using the new lines, which should filter through here so much better. We'll come back to this very soon. That's quite the backlog, but it's going to be sorted. It is going to be sorted very quickly. Um, just checking a couple of things. We're all looking good. Okay. Uh, so, before we uh, jump over to the other side, let's get that wheel. Because we need to find out how many game giveaways we're going to do. Uh, no, not four. There we go. So, we'll spin the wheel and we'll find out about the game giveaways. And then I've got something to tell you about uh, the way that uh, the YouTube stuff's working. So, um, and it won't take long. It won't take long. So, don't worry about that. We're going to get back to the trains very soon. But first, let's find out the giveaways. Do you like my H? Is that my H on my, on my t shirt? You can have one if you like. Store.mysalish.net. One. There we go, folks. We will be doing one giveaway this live stream. Uh, let's find out which giveaway it's going to be. It's going to be a give giveaway for Rogue Legacy. So if you want to be within a chance of winning that game, go to portal.masterhellish.net. You must have an account on my website and be logged in. Getting an account is free uh, and easy to do so if you 
uh, don't have one already. Then all the information you should need to enter the giveaway will be on portal.masterhellish.net. Okay, back to the trains. Oh, wait, hang on. There was one little thing. What was it? Oh, right. We found out what the thing is with the YouTube thing. Okay, so I'll tell you it as we're, as we're getting back in. So we are supposed to, every, uh, every 10 minutes, get the last 2,000 messages from chat. And then we use that to work out who's been in chat. But the problem is, is that even though the documentation says you can change it to 2,000 and the default is 200, we're only getting the last 75 messages from YouTube and we don't know why. So I think we're going to have to implement a workaround. So every 10 minutes, the last 75 messages, and that's who um, the Hellish Tools is seeing in chat. It looks like people are entering the giveaway for the voucher as well, which is really cool. So we need carbon, steel, and acid, and we need to get it into both of these places, I believe, into this one and that one. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So I don't think they both come from the same place. <laughs> Let's have a look at the industry chains, and, and we're going to have a look for acid. We'll start with acid. There we go. So acid comes from the this plant. Don't we have one of them already? Yes, yes, we do. Uh, so we're already um, transporting the chlorine and the sodium hydroxide, but we're not transporting the acid. So we need another station here at Timman's other plant, and we need to bring it down here to this area to get the acid in. Now, we'll probably see how that goes. Um... So there we go. Um, Wizard Brandon says it's an amazing game. Well, that's cool. I'm glad it's an amazing game. Uh, why not allow someone to buy a giveaway as well? That was one of the ideas we was playing around with. Um, I don't... Like, buy a random prize out of the goodie bag. I don't know... I don't I don't know how whether that would be really wanted very much by anyone but it is an idea that we've got on the list of things we could look into. Uh Brandon says uh so if we theoretically have 75 chatters a second it all breaks. No uh, no no not chatters chat messages. Um YouTube only provides me with the last 75 chat messages. Now every 10 minutes so if you were in the last 75 chat messages you get your hellish points if you're not in the last 75 chat messages you don't get your hellish points and i'm trying to work around how that is at the moment yes it is a massive glitch um it's not meant to be the cap i've read the documentation i can share it with you the documentation says it will be the last 200 messages and you can actually ask for 2000 messages which is what i did and i thought hey we're going to be fine the last 2000 messages on my channel we only usually have like somewhere between 200 and a thousand messages in the entire live stream so we'll be fine but what the documentation says and what I'm actually getting are two different things. So there we go. Um, yeah. Yes. So Joe, that's why your points haven't been increasing very much. So if you want, if you want points, you gotta keep chatting until we improve things. So the carbon steel is the other thing. Let's have a look at that one. Industry chains. Carbon steel paints and coatings. Um, Carbon steel. So carbon steel comes from either a basic oxygen furnace or an electric arc furnace. And we don't have either of them at the moment over here, I don't think. Let's just double check a few things. So this one over here, uh, this is Jebulus's body, the body plant. And we have our tyre plant. And that's our, well, that's um, two Bob Wharf. So I don't think, yeah, we don't have either of them yet. So let's have a look at what each one requires. It looks like it might be the same. So this one, basic oxygen furnace, takes in 
pig iron, manganese, quick lime, and oxygen. I think we have... Do we have manganese already? Not from there. We do from the bulk terminal. So we could get stuff from the bulk terminal, the manganese, and we could put it through the oxygen furnace to get our carbon steel. So that wouldn't be too bad. We'd have to just put one industry in between and then pipe it through. Okay. Why don't you use the button link to small map? Sorry, I'm not quite following you there. So, yeah. <laughs> so just keep chatting. I mean, yeah, at the if you want hellish points at the moment, just keep chatting. <laughs> and and you'll be okay. Uh Timman says, so when there are only 75 messages for the whole stream, you still get your points even when you are offline. No. So the points only are when I'm online. Only ever when I'm online. It doesn't work when I'm offline. I've done it like that on purpose. And you have to have sent a message in the first place. So if you come to a live stream, you send a message, and then there's never more than 75 messages for the entire live stream, you would get hellish points for the entire live stream at the moment. In the industry chains, bottom left. Uh, so you mean clicking on the industry? Find out where it comes from, I think. Uh, maybe, maybe. Anyway, we can get manganese from an oxygen furnace. The other option was from an electric arc furnace, which we, we can get scrap metal. Do we need an electric arc furnace anyway for the alloy steel and stainless steel? Stainless steel. We need it for the stainless steel. Hmm. I think we can just go with what we already have. We've got manganese. Oh, I've given myself the extra challenge of not building these, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> Chatting makes hellish points great again. Lower. Bottom row. Link to small map. Oh, okay. Never used that feature before. I mean... Yeah, okay. So we're going to do the other one. So uh, we were looking at carbon steel, the basic oxygen furnace. I need to find a basic oxygen furnace. Uh, let's turn off the other ones, actually. Oh, you're kidding me. I remember this now. It's absolutely, utterly miles away. Oh, why did I agree to the extra challenge? Why? Can you see it? Can you? You guys, you guys can see it. Yeah, it is flashing. So there's currently only two on the screen, and the closest one is a long distance. Uh, even if I, even if we zoom out like this. Is it even there? Where's the map? There's the map. Um, it's like right on... Oh, there it is. The oxygen furnace is there. So we've got to go from here all the way down there to the oxygen furnace and back again. Check says, his kid says, can see planes coming in. Um, I would use planes, but we've got a bit of a problem. Um... Manganese, I don't think you can transport it with planes. Uh, let's choose manganese from the drop down list. Yep, no planes. No, 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 no planes. No. Okay. It might actually be better to do, use the electric arc furnace because we need uh what is it on over here we need the carbon steel over here but we also need the stainless steel over here okay now it would be a little bit of a nightmare to get i can't remember what it was something over here yeah 
to get the um, stuff from the electric arc furnace all the way down here. But that electric arc furnace is quite close to a very, very good scrapyard. Okay. And it would supply both. Oh, dear. This is crazy. Um... Built unusable user counter counter set to two. No, I haven't built another unusable. Uh, oh, hang on. Oh yeah, I was I was thinking about moving the engine plant. That's not what I was thinking about now. So I think that's what we're going to do. I think we're going to get stuff from all the way over here, and just plow straight through what we need to, to get it down to where it needs to go. And it's going to be a long journey by train, but I can't think of another way of doing it. Unless we go for a different electric arc furnace and we get scrap metal from a different place. So let's just check that first before we start putting a massive great big railway line in, shall we? We don't want that. Go away. Electric, uh, fund industry, industry, industrial chains. Okay. No, wait, no, no, wait, 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 wait. Map. Here we go. Electric arc furnace. Okay. So there are several electric arc furnaces in the area. There's actually some that are a little bit closer as well. In fact, there's one that's right nearby. Um, I've lost it. Is that it? No, that's a wire and section mill. Okay, hang on a second. Eh. There we go. Electric arc furnace. But the problem is, is we need to supply it. Guess we can't transport parts by plane. That's right, we can't. Planes can't do everything in this map, at least not at the beginning anyway. So, if we're doing an electric arc furnace in this area, we need to find another scrapyard that's up to the job. And there are quite a few scrapyards in the area. In fact, there's one that's quite close by. Now remember, with scrapyards, it's different. So let's go and have a look at this one. Here it is. So this scrapyard is 1,692 tons of scrap metal. Okay. So it's actually not far that behind. Uh, we can grow the town. I think this is our, I think this is the option. We go from this scrap yard to this electric arc furnace, we make the carbon steel and we send it to the, these two places. Then we get the stainless steel from the electric arc furnace and we can send it over here to the component factory. Yes, that's what we'll do. Furs is crazy. Furs is a little bit crazy. It's not that bad. If you go to my website, if you go to masterhellish.net forward slash S10, then uh, you'll see that um, there's a link to the actual industry chains. And it's there's lots of industries and lots of loopiness and lots of tra uh, chains, but each individual part is not that complex, I, I wouldn't say. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start growing this city. Okay, we're going to put some buses in. We're going to get them going around in a nice little route. Um, we'll do this. We'll have... Let's move that. That's one, two, three, four, five, actually. There we go. Brilliant. Let's get our bus depot in somewhere. Get a vehicle. Buy the vehicle. Tell it to just go around each of these. In theory, we might get away with just four because we're going to be having the scrap. Uh, they're going to have a station at the scrap yard, but I'd rather just have five to be sure. Uh, and then we'll clone it so that there's two of them going around and they'll set them on their way. Just joined. What is FERS? Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, FERS is an industry replacement set. So instead of having a farm going to a factory going to a town with goods and an iron ore mine going to a steel mill going to a factory with goods and things like that in the basic op in the vanilla open TTD 
I will show you what it is actually like in furs with the link that's provided on my website. The flow looks more... Uh, that's not right. Is that steel time? No, it's tropic. Steel, steel town. Here we go. The flow of the industries and the industries we have looks like this. So there's coal mines to coke ovens, potash mines to bulk terminals, electric arc furnaces with scrap yards and acid and zinc and pipe and cement and paints and coatings and steels and sheet, glass, gas, iron and aluminium. You can make a song out of it. It's like the periodic table of elements, isn't it? So Furs gets rid of the basic industries and replaces it with this. Now this is Steel Town. This Furs has several different settings. So you could do... Uh, there's Tropic... There's, there's, uh, there's, here, there's, there's Tropic Basic. Where's the Temperate Basic one? Here we are, Temperate Basic. So this, I believe, is the original kind of... Like, if you do the temperate one, there's a port, glassworks, metal, work, uh, metal workshop, food goes to towns, alcohol goes to towns. So it's it's not too bad. Uh, hey, uh, let's have a look. So, uh, so that is um, re, uh, it makes the game a tad more interesting. Yes, I think it does. Hello, hellish community. Well, hello to you. Welcome. Um, yeah, it's fun to play when you get you get more from the base game. Yeah, and Steel Town is is good. You want a Steel Steel Town song, Brandon? Maybe that could be the the special Christmas one, eh? Um, hi all. Still zero points after my third live stream. It will come. You need to you need to be in the chat. You need to be in the chat, and you need to have had a message. Uh, your message need, and and we know that not all messages are being picked up, but it's a problem at YouTube. But we've identified the problem, and now we can try and figure out a way around it. Um, Elaine's going back to bed. Okay, Elaine, have a good night's sleep. Um, and this is first four. Yes. Yes, it's first four. Right then, back to open TTD. And I'll close that web page before I leave it there and Chrome eats more my RAM. Uh, let's get the station in here. We're going to do a, uh, like a, blah, 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 blah. let's do a basic good station. We're going to have, um, some sort of row row i think a three track row row will do the job here will it do the job we're going to be shifting a lot of stuff potentially uh let's just push this land back a little bit to allow us to have signals on the ends of our platforms because when you do a row row station if you join up the platforms at the end the entire station becomes one block one um, one signal block and you want to divide the platforms up into their own signal blocks so that's what you do when you put the signals on the end uh, we'll put signals down here and we're not playing uh, not playing the game with um, infrastructure maintenance enabled so we have signal spacing of two to keep our trains nice and tightly packed now i'm going to put some depots on the end here so let's just get rid of that and give ourselves a little bit more room before we head up, there we go. Optional depots, and we remove that forbidden bit of track, and we'll we'll put a little kink in the track there. There we go. That's probably fine. So that's going to be picking up uh, the, 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 the scrap metal, and then this is the electric arc furnace we're going to work with. Okay. Um, <laughs> brings the band hammer down on Brandon. That's the problem with Brandon. You can put the ban hammer on Brandon, but uh, it'll just keep coming back again. Just like keeps winning the charity championships. Uh, but the games in the championships change each year, so we never know what's going to happen next time. Uh, don't forget, we have a game giveaway going uh, for Rogue Legacy, uh, portal.masterhellish.net to take part in that. We also have our monthly giveaways of Skyrim and a £10 Steam voucher. So let's now do a drop-off station, which is going to be, to be honest boring and identical uh, just facing the other way uh, these stations that I've got here they, they're not the most throughputty sort of things but they to me they are a good balance of good throughput with ease and quickness like you could spend absolutely hours doing really complicated, interesting stations. 
But I just want to care. I just, I just want to get it on. <laughs> I just want to get it done. Okay. No, no, no. There we go. There we go. Um. Right. So now we have to get under here. And I'm thinking, like, because this track is kind of up anyway, we'll just make it a bit more up. Like that. And then we can go under it. Okay. And I'll need to just nip that there. Tunnel, tunnel. Jobs are good. And now, that's going up, and then it's coming back down again. You know what? We're not going to do that. We're going to have a little bit of a little bit of a trench, nice little trench, just like this, through the through the hillside. Nothing major, just a little embankment down into a little railway. Isn't that fantastic? Uh, right, signals in here. Oh, what do you mean? Can't build signals here? Yes, you can. That was just a misclick. And there we go. That's the entire railway done there. Let's get ourselves a brand new train. So we're going to go new vehicles. We're, we'll start off by... Eh. All right. We'll get the... Ooh. Okay. Did, did we say that we're going to replace all the vehicles to the SHAP? I think we did, didn't we? At the end of the last live stream. Yes, we are. In fact, we've got 87 of them already. So the new train... We, we're not going to get that diesel, it's pointless. Uh, we're transporting scrap metal, which is done in a coal truck. Guild Games, hey. There's, there's no Twitch. Yeah. I used to use Z-Base, and it's not that I don't like Z-Base, it's just... I don't know. I, it just doesn't... I don't think it works with furs in the industry replacement set. So, for that reason, I don't use it. So, full load there. Unload there. We've got loads of millions in the bank accounts. Let's get four of those trains there already. This is really going to kickstart stuff, by the way, folks. I'm pretty sure, because this is a good scrap metal here. I didn't realise that it was, we had a you know 1,600 tonnes of scrap metal a month. Actually, what we also need to do is make sure that we've got a statue. Oh, we've already done it. Already done it. Yeah. Um, Furs is very vanilla in graphics. Yes. So is the industry station and renewal. Uh, anyway, so here we're now going to be start making the carbon steel that we need for this one, right? But the problem is it's ridiculously close to each other. So I'm actually going to use road vehicles. Dum, dum, dum. I can't be bothered to have a train go all that distance. So... We're going to have one there, and we're going to have one there. They're almost close enough to be the same station. I did that wrong. There we go. Uh, no, rem no, remove the road. What? Hang on. Auto tool for road remove. There we go. It it does work. Okay. So we're gonna have probably the shortest I've ever done. Um let's do that. trying to think about the best way of doing this without causing too many problems but this seems to be good okay so the idea is is that that's in and these are all out okay and there's no shaking it all about there we go right i'm gonna, I'm gonna end that lot uh, that game giveaway soon so if you do want to be within the chance of winning it head out there and get in touch uh, that is an auto tool, auto tool road tool. It's a custom hotkey. Yes, it is. It is a custom hotkey. I set it up to shift A. So if you do A when you've got nothing selected, uh, it'll take you to the auto tool of the railway. Shift A 
for my setup gets you the uh, main one. Right, there we go. That is the entire setup, and we're going to be bringing uh, the carbon steel o over to here. So new vehicle, and um, we're going to get a carbon steel truck, which is just a goods truck, and we buy and refit. We're going to say full load here, and go there to unload, and it'll just unload because it accepts it. And because I've done this, I can get six vehicles in here, no problem. So that's what we'll start with, six vehicles. <laughs> Everybody's saying hello to each other. Hi. Hi, chat. Um, so that's that one done. And then, ah, we need to get some of the carbon steel down to this one as well. I feel like putting in a road service. Oh no, we've got to split it evenly. <sighs> I didn't think about this. I forgot it was going to two places. Okay, folks, I might need your help here. Right, so I've got to get the carbon steel to go to two different places and I want it to be even. So ideally, I'd have to have the same so even if I have the same number of trucks, hang on, what do I need? Let's have a look. What does it say on the screen? It says, for the maximum production rate, supply all the required cargoes at least once every three months. I think I'm going to have to use timetables. Yeah. Boats with a shared station. I mean, the challenge here is, right, is that some of it's going a short distance and some of it's going with a long distance. So if I did two separate stations with an even amount of trucks, this one for the short distance will do it much quicker. Waypoints and an equal amount of trains. Waypoints and an equal amount of trains. What, so there's what, like one platform loading for each? Is that what you mean, girl? Hmm. Well, whatever the solution is, it's not, it's not what I've done. <laughs> so, goodbye. There we go. Uh, I think... I think timetabled trains is the only way of doing it. What industry mod is this? This is the first industry mod. If you want to see all the different mods that I'm using in this series, you can go to masterhellish.net forward slash S10. And there you go. Uh, I, we're not going to do some crazy... Oof. What am I going to do about this? Make the shorter road longer by zigzagging it. Oh, buzzard! That's interesting. I've never thought of that before. We could make we could make the shorter road go halfway, turn around, and come back, or we could make the road vehicles go to a station halfway along the road and then go back again. With the acid, you'll have to do the same. Where's the acid coming from again? I've forgotten. Oh, it's down here, isn't it? I mean, with the acid, well, the acid, what I could do is I could just have a drop-off station and have road vehicles going the same distance each way. So that'd be easy. What if we just do that, like, out of the box with both of them? I think that could be a really good idea. Okay, let's, let's see, let's start that plan. Okay, so if I put a station in, well, of course, the local authority hate me now because I've put a load of stuff in and blew it up. There you go. Chuck some trees in there. Hopefully it'll be fine. So if we put this one in here now, like this, and we do a big long road, and we'll worry about each end. But if we do a big long road and we go under here, And we go through here, 
don't care about that little river. And I guess it's going to have to go round. Ooh. Uh, the local authority refused to allow that as well. Here, have some more trees. There we go. So they'll let me do that now. And then if I get the depot... Here, I think. Ooh. This might work. This might be a really good solution. Although, I want the one wayness, really. Oh, I think I can still do it one way. Yeah, okay. Let, let's just do it. This bit's a little bit weird. Ah, it could, it, they can go in the wrong way there. Let's get rid of that. Oh no, that's got it in the wrong way around as well. Oh, hang on a minute. I can get a little bit more of the land out. There we go. There we go. Everything's fine. Don't worry. I'm a professional. He says. Oh, I've hit the train station. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. That doesn't need to go that way at all. I can't see here. This is where it'd be nice if I could actually spin the game world round, but I can't. Okay, so then we can have in and just out, out, like this, and it's fine, okay? It's fine. Um, oh my goodness, so many suggestions. Let's let's check this out. Um, make sure it takes 88 days both routes. Make sure it's 44 days when one train leaves, Timmons says. Could do. Um, we're certainly going to see how much we can get in there. But we also want to get as much in as possible. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, Joe says, I was about to say, I'm uh, glad you're using the fans to transport supplies. The vans, yes, yeah, definitely. And I will do the same with the acid, yes. Uh, just transfer half to a bus station with six trucks. Hmm, maybe. maybe. I don't know if you can actually transfer half. I don't think you can unload half. The trucks will make that. I think the trucks will be fine. We're going to get so much in. Um... We're going to get so much in here. So we're going to give our... St oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, we're going to give our train station a little bit of breathing room. And then we'll put in um, a, a, div a dividing station here. So we need to work out the two different routes. So the entire route is... That's 68, 10. So that's... 78 and 7 so that's uh, 85 in length so if we then go oh, I'll get my calculator for the division 85 divided by 2 that's the wrong screen 85 divided by 2 is 42 42 the answer is 42 so then if we come 42 this way And have the station there. Then it's going the same each way. So we can just get rid of all of this. This is going to be the drop-off train station and the pickup bus station. Right? So, um, let's do... Let's do some... Let's do something very similar, right? We'll have two different we'll have two different pickups and um, for the two different resources. So we're gonna have uh, a piece of road, a platform, and then we go this way. So it comes in. So we have one for. What do you mean? Can't be built at junctions. There we go. So we have one going here, and then it goes this way and that way. Yeah, that's right. 
gap of two. We have a same one here. This way and that way. Oh, hang on a minute. Or does it want to be a different station? Yeah, it wants to be a different station, so that's fine. Egg's got to get going. Okay, Egg, thanks for coming by. See you later. That's fine. So then that's out, that's in, that's out, that's in, and I've done this wrong. Because you don't have a station on the way in, you have a station on the way out. So get rid of that. And does it, and it wants to be two different stations as well. There we go. Right, so this one's going to be a new station like this. Oops. Uh, west. We can rename these later. So they come in that way, and they those ones come in that way as well. Uh, that is out only. Out, out. Uh, this one needs a bit of extra room, so I will sort that in a second. Uh, it's 42 from both sides. The middle is exactly between 20, 42 and 43. I mean, yeah, that's close enough. It, it doesn't matter that much, right? It just wants to be approximately right. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just wants to be pretty damn close. And then we just need an exit uh, here. I guess that can just loop back this way. That's fine as well. Exit in that way, in that way. Good, good. Okay, so that is now two different uh, pickup stations. One for one resource, one for the other resource. Then we need to get the train stations in there and we need to spread them with them. But the problem is this railway line's in the way, and I think we're going to move it. I think we're going to move it to allow for the station. Uh, how are we going to move it to allow for the station? I don't know. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll unpause the game for a moment. We will remove um, all of this. There we go. So now uh, we've got these. Uh, where are they? Here we go. Look, we've got our first scrap metal trains going in already. Pre-planning. What's pre-planning? The truck stop itself can be one way. No need for so many extra road. The truck stop itself can be one way. The truck stop itself can be one way? I mean, it doesn't seem to work for me. I'm not quite sure what you mean, Gil. Not quite sure what you mean. But we'll we'll, uh, we'll get into there in a second. So then we need the drop-off stations. So we're going to have two drop-off stations. One either side. Uh, this one is going to be definitely coming from the north. And we can have it r relatively close. And it's going to be three length. So we're actually going to be um, delivering very inefficiently for one of the locations but I don't care that is not what I'm about that is not where I wanted that piece of line either so the idea is is that we are caring more about delivering these more evenly to the two different industries than we care about getting the most amount of money and go directly uh, okay. So this uh, this station will hook up to a station that's going to be here. And then we can pop these bits of road in. And that looks good to me. There we go. So what I'm going to also do is we're going to put a road depot near each end. Not 
right at each end, but near each end. And then not far from these as well. Um, or maybe even on this road. Uh, I think it might be get a bit busy at these junctions. Ah, you know what? Never mind. We'll put them at the junctions anyway. <laughs> uh, there we go. Also, I want that to be one way. Just to be clear. Um, so we've got some good planning. Ah, now, now I have messed up because this station here wants to be connected to one of these. So we're transferring. So that will be that valley station. Uh, let's delete this sign. Just happened to be in the middle. That's fine. We need another station in here now. And I'm not quite sure on its orientation because it's going to be coming from all the way over here. Okay. A very complicated set of lines and roads compared to the timetable option. Uh, no security to get a delivery every three months, in your opinion. Uh, Tinman, you are right on both points. But you know what? I did it this way because I thought it'd be the interesting way to do it. Uh, because I like the idea of just delivering loads of resources to the middle of somewhere so it splits evenly. Um... So I like that. Um, and you say no security of getting a delivery every three months. Um, I'm planning on putting so much product through this that it doesn't matter. They're going to be getting deliveries every other day. So, hey, King Assassin Gaming, welcome. Uh, so we're going to put another station in somewhere over here. I think I've got an idea of how I'm going to do it, but we'll see. And what we'll do is we'll bring it down to these docks again. Maybe we'll use the same line. Maybe we'll use the same line. We'll potentially... Oh, should we do the rest of the journey by boat? Right, okay. We're going to bring the... Uh, what's this coming from Timmons or the plant? The acid. We're going. Is it acid? Yes, the acid. We're going to bring the acid from the plant down this track to this port. And then we're going to have a vote on portal.masterhellish.net. We're going to either bring it by boat to the coast and then train it the rest of the way or we'll dig a canal or something and boat it the entire way okay so i'm going to get that vote set up now don't bother shouting out in chat so uh, the question is for part two of the trip do we and then it's going to be train or boat. And we'll start that now. So if you go to the portal, you'll have those options to choose from. And whilst you're choosing that, I will figure out how I'm going to fix this line because I broke it. Okay, so if this line carries on going straight here, we can do a turn, come across there, and then another turn. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do that. So let's do, let's bring the two lines together. And the, if we need a station in there, this is going to potentially be problematic. Um, and then we need to come across here. So somewhere like this. Nope. It needs to be a little further up. And then we need to dig down somewhere around here. Then we potentially need to dig down more. Okay. And then I want to go across here. There we are. Joe says voted. Guild Game says, what website? No, I've played several times with trucks now and I've had many times accidentally built one-way stops. Could be JGR. Yes, Guild Games. I'm pretty sure it'll be JGR. As it usually is. Um... And the question is with this railway line is like how am I going to get this under this road? Is 
because we're going to go past here. We'll put a diagonal in there. Um, like this. It's not going to be a big diagonal, though. We've got to get under this road. You know what? <sighs> I think we're going to have to go up here. Like that. Whoa, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it's not the worst thing in the universe. It's pretty bad, though. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty, pretty bad. I mean, I could probably make some improvements and so forth, but to be honest, that that's fine. Okay, cool. Let's get that train out of the way. Come on, move, 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 move. Quick, 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 quick. Thanks. There we go. It's like it's it's a it's not a busy line. I don't really care. It's fine. There we go. Psst. That looks a bit weird, but it's it's just a couple of wiggles. It's several wiggles. Bridge the road. I, I suppose I could bridge the road, couldn't Oh, and then I could have a straight diagonal up. Yeah. The dead end stations are technically one way. I guess so. Uh, right. Let's get the road out. Let's get these tunnels out. I should have bridged the road. Silly me. There we go. Like It's a million times better now. I say there we go. I haven't I haven't finished it yet. So, oof. Um, is it there to there? Not on the same level. There to there. That's a train one though. <laughs> oh, I've done that before. Okay, let's try that again. The thing that confuses me is. The icon for the road bridge in the road section has train track on it. Yeah? That that is confusing. Much better. Much better. Here we go. It's lovely. So now we've got a nice diagonal across there. We have a kink where we go under this line. Jobs are good. Wrong, wrong type of track. Hey, Hellish. I've uh, been getting back into Open TTD lately. Love the streams. What's the best track entry and exit layouts for throughput? Exit and entry layouts. What's the best track entry and exit layouts? Is that for Roro stations? Or Terminus stations? Or something else? Let me know. This is turning into a terrifying masterclass. And it's all more about planning, I suppose. Signals on the new track. Yes. So we can replace the signals. There we are. Okay. So now we no longer need this tunnel. That's even better. And I can then come in here and get the uh, carbon steel. See, the stainless steels are going to have to go all the way over there. So we'll have to deal with that later. But let's just get the carbon steel one in and not worry about it. Well, that's a problem for future hellish, eh? Okay. Oh. oh, the town refuses to allow it. They're getting really annoyed with me, these guys. They think I'm very poor. Well, I'll give them more trees. Trees. Now they think I'm medium. That'll do. That will do. Okay, so we just get the catchment area right on the edge of the industry. Pull it down. And I think for this one, we'll, we'll come in here and get our double depots in. Take out the forbidden bit of track, because why wouldn't you have a double depot? 
I, I don't know why people sometimes just don't double depot. I, I, I can't see a reason why not. I mean, there may be a reason. I just can't see one. There we go. Signals there on the end of the platform. So each platform is its own signal block. Another set of double depot, double depot, double depots. Another set of double depots. See, this train isn't actually train line isn't actually that long. Oh my goodness, got both ends of that diagonal wrong. I suppose I've got this kink here, and that is kinking the wrong way. So we could probably just de-kink these and have them go straight. And then do that. Does that look a little weird? It does look a little weird, but it's fine. There we go. Right. So now we need a new vehicle. Uh, we want the engines. We want the SHAP. We want to pick up the carbon steel. Steel. Carbon steel. In the goods van. So we'll buy and refit that. Uh, there we go. This area is going to be a snaky mess, potentially. Full load here. Go down here. And this one's going to be a transfer order. And this one, we're going to change the name of the station to something with carbon steel in it. Or maybe we could just change it to carbon steel. There we go. Carbon steel. So we're going to pick that up there and we're going to drop it off here. Then we're going to get new vehicles. Uh, and we'll put them in in a bit. Right. Um... Yeah, we don't want cargo piling up at the station. I want to be able to actually send it to the industry, so that's it. Um, as long as the trains are both lines are both equal, every couple of trains are on the four four eight eight idea. I mean, when you're going that far, you get into the point where. Like you're doing something similar to what I'm already doing, but then you're adding timetables on top of it, right? Uh, change anything around the town. Town hates you. Then town grows. Town loves you. No, it's trees. It's the trees. Um, you was told many times you're a good player, but you just can't use timetables. You find uh, you rather find other solutions. Um, yeah, I mean, I can do timetables, and I do sometimes use timetables. But if I can find a solution which is a little bit different, it's something I haven't done before, or it's a bit quirky, I will want to do it more than timetables, just for the fun of it, if nothing else. Uh, okay, so let's get a carbon steel vehicle. And we're going to uh, full load here and go down and unload there. Then we're going to come back, full load again, come down here and unload there okay so instead of having two lots of vehicles we're just going to have the vehicles do both so one of them is going to get to it before the other but eventually the vehicles will spread out and it'll be fine so we'll do 10 of them so that's that bit sorted all the vehicles are in we need to do the other one now for the acid i'm pretty sure it's acid my memory is not great. Yep, acid. So let's just call this station acid. Ladies and gentlemen, we're just doing a little detour at the moment where we're going to be arriving shortly at acid. There we go. Uh, so let's, uh, let's end that uh, vote and we'll see if we'll do it by train or boat. Fantastic. And the viewers have said boat. Uh, nearly two to one. Nearly, not quite. Um, even British railroads can't do timetables. <laughs> yes, that's right. The British Railway, uh, in all its glory, the timetables just never go anywhere, do they? Right, let's do that then. So what we're going to need is another set of um, another set of platforms over here where we're going to pick up the acid and take it down. I'm not exactly sure how we're... Ooh. Okay, I've spotted something that might be brilliant. 
So if I do that, and I put a bridge in here, and we do that, then I can do this. That doesn't need to be like that. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I like it, I think. Um, I, I don't know if it's going to work. But... Can I just do this entire thing that bit? No. Well, that's a shame. Okay, never mind. This, this, this Again, I'm doing something... Probably not the best solution, but it's a solution, eh? <laughs> so let's go down here, tunnel there, and we'll put the station here. Uh, we're going to have to move that office, though, because it's in the way. So that office is part of uh, Honing, Honing Hall South. And it's to help us uh, get the coverage that we need to pick up the stuff. So let's just uh, modify that. So we're going to remove... We need a fixture. Facility, sorry. Let's move this... Um, huh? Oh, there we go. And I think if I put it here, that will still do the job. Yeah. Yeah. Honing Hall South. Coverage. Except salt. Good. Okay. So then if I just like dig this out, I can build a station here. Are we doing four tracks. Oh, it's four tracks. Uh, okay. I can work with that. I'm just trying to do another one and make it interestingly connect through and go round the other two. And I think I've managed it. So we're going to do a ISR station for this, for that, with four tracks, six length, put it in, boom. Look at that. No mistakes. No mistakes from me today. Well, not... Oh, that was a mistake. <laughs> oh, no. So many mistakes. Uh, can I get that corner off as well? Yep, okay. So we'll pop a double depot in here. Th that wasn't a mistake. That definitely wasn't a mistake. Uh, we can put signals on the end of the platforms. And then we can have it go under here. And... And I suppose then it does actually just want to link up with this line, doesn't it? So it doesn't want to go down there. Uh, I feel like linking up there would be bad. So we will go down here. Whoa, not that much. Um, there? Yep, yeah, okay. So for the incoming... Get rid of that. Um, so for the incoming line, we are just going to go straight through. We're going to peel off here and just go straight through. Actually, now I've done that, it means that I can lower this, make it nice and neat. So we're going between two tunnels on a lower line. Nice. And then we can come up and out there and a little bit further along and then link up with the main line. There's a train in the way. Let's do it there instead. Fantastic. Look at that. Straight under there, no messing, straight through the middle, into our station. <laughs> That's the boat time! Yes. T uh, Ragal says timetables are much easier to use and run with a J a JGR. Um, I've heard people say that, but I haven't heard it quantified in any way. Um, the only time anybody's tried to uh, quantify that and actually say why... Uh, they said, oh, because you can set them out with, uh, with equal spacing, with just a click of a button. And you can do that in vanilla. So I am i don't know how it's better. I mean, I've not done it. And I'm not saying it isn't better. But what I'm saying is, I don't know how. I don't know how that would be better. I haven't seen any. I haven't seen it being better anywhere. Uh, shave that corner off there. 
So there we go. We've managed to get another set of platforms in, although I've put depots on and I shouldn't have done because we don't want trains going to the wrong platforms. The depots are here. That's why they are here. So we're going to clone. Uh, are we going to clone this train? No, we're not. We're going to do a new vehicle because it's holding a different thing. So for the engines, SHAP, we are shifting acid. In an oil tanker, we will buy... Is acid the default? Maybe. Looks, yeah, capacity of the oil tanker is acid. Refittable to all of these things. Interesting. Anyway, these ones are only six long. I don't know why, they just are. <laughs> I think it's just because we wanted lots of little quick deliveries, didn't we? So we'll full load over here, go all the way down here and unload. We won't upgrade this part of the network unless it needs upgrading. It might do later, but for now I think we're okay. We'll clone it so that there are... I mean, how many... These trains are all sat around waiting at the moment, and there are... We've got five of on each of those. So I think four. Four seems enough. There we go. Uh, Graham says, do you have a favourite GRF for trains and wagons? Actually, I don't. Um, I've tried a couple of them in the past, and I've found that the they've been like poorly balanced. So either they're just way too easy to play because they have very little running costs, they're very cheap to buy, and you just immediately make loads of profit, or they are balanced the other way and they're very expensive, they're hard to run, and it's very difficult, especially for new players, to actually make any profit out of them. So I've found a couple that I think look nice, and I've played around with a few before, but I've never actually found a balanced pack that I was happy with at the time. Um, Sabre says, uh, JGR will auto space uh, adjust spacing if you add more vehicles. Vanilla, you have to redo the timetable for it. Um, again, that okay, so you have to press the button one more time in vanilla. Okay. Um, auto separation is a thing. You can't, uh, this is a guild game says, you, and you can't really do it in vanilla. You, you can, I've, I'm sure you can. But again, I don't know much about timetables. Yes, it is, a, it is a one control click to auto space separation in vanilla. But what Sabre said about if you add more vehicles and they respace, uh, they redo the timetable, uh, that is easier. Anyway, we, we will look at it at some point. Um, if you've got any suggestions for uh, GRFs that you want me to look at, put them in the general forum with the idea flag, please. And I will uh, have a quick look. And if I think they're cool, I would add them to my list to take a closer look. I've just seen that we're going this way and that way and back again. So I'm just going to do this. It just seems to make sense. There we go. Why would you go this way just to go back again that way? I think it's just the weird way that the stations were built and then I decided where things were going later. That, that'll that do. That'll be all right. That's fine. Um, right. So then we need to get the boaty bit done. Uh, so that means somewhere over here, we're going to have to dig. Should we dig a channel? I think digging a channel is our best bet and then putting bridges in. So we'll go down like this. And we'll have like a little area. Uh, we won't be able to place the boaty bit on it yet. The boaty bit, that's the technical term. But then we'll build this channel all the way out to the water. Ah, see, we're going to have to have a wiggle in that because we don't get to the very edge. We do, Yeah, we're happy with just a big channel, right, folks? We, yeah, we, we, we are just going to have a big channel. I'm not using rivers on this occasion. So we'll get the channel out to here. And then, I guess, can we diagonal it? Will that just work? I think that looks like it would work nicely to me. Uh, that water is going to take a while to fill up. Um, but we, we need to fix the stuff that's going on here. Yeah, big channel for sure. Should we make the channel wider, Buzzard? What do you think? What do people in the chat think about making it wider? Um, oh, I want a drink. Um, oh, I'll, 
I'll wait. I'll be all right. Let's uh, pop our little bridges in. Oh, that's a road bridge. Yes. I'm going to suggest... I'm going to guess that that yes was to making it wider. Wider is better. Okay. Let's go with wider then. Let's go with wider all the way down. We'll make it three wide instead of two wide. And then we'll do the same here. Should that be a transfer for the acid to snowman? Yes. Yes, it should. Let, did I not do a transfer? Where are the trains? The trains are over here. There we go. Transfer. Thank you. Would wider bring any benefit, says Graham. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> Probably looks more impressive. The water will flow down there quicker. That's the only benefit I can really see. Um, it might make it more difficult for some of these diagonal bridges and stuff, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Now, can I have a waterways tunnel? No. How am I going to get across here? Um, I'm just going to change where these go. So I will take them off there. For some reason, there doesn't seem to be any trains around here, which there really should be. And we'll just we'll just put a wiggle in. Uh, we'll go straight here. Let's see. We want to go twelve down this track at least. Then we'll come over. So we'll bring the two pieces of track together. Get our bridge in. And then immediately go diagonal. I mean, I'm not sure I got that right. Eh, yeah, close enough. <laughs> and then we need to go up. So we can go up here. Just need a little bit more diagonal cut out. And then we can just kind of have this as a little kink. There we go. No problem. Link it back up to the original line. Cut that bit out. Repair that bit. Put our signals across. That works quite nicely as well, actually. Luggy, welcome. Good evening. We'll get rid of these little bits of orphaned water. There we go. We can always add some locks in later, maybe, and connect the two up or something. Um, <laughs> the old left versus girth conundrum. Uh, yeah, well, we're just going to get the water to go down there. So we'll need um, some boaty bits. We're going to need a, a ship depot. I think we should have a ship depot here. Uh, we'll probably have a couple of ship depots here and one along the way, but we're going to have to unpause the game to allow the water go to go down there. So you can see that the water will start slowly going along all these bits. Oh, look at that one square. There we go. It's starting to flow down there. Now, while it's starting to flow all the way down there, we can go back to what I said we'd go back to uh, later in the live stream. Earlier in the live stream. I can't remember if it was earlier or later. We said we no longer need this bit of track. Okay. And one... Oh, it actually hasn't cleared out yet because we've spent a good deal amount of the time paused. But we'll unpause for a little while just to... Oh, we can get that. There we go. We can nick that off there. That's fine. We'll leave this extra bit here for trains to be able to get back to where they want to go. Um, all these extra little depots down here, you see the trains are using them. That's really important to keep them flowing. Uh, this bit isn't going to flow as great because we've got... Uh, three worth uh, in like three lots different um i'll get some words in a minute we get three lines worth of trains coming in down one line at the moment so uh you can see the new trains are already using the new stations you can see we've got a train coming uh, out of these double depots now coming down towards the platforms it will go right or left in this case it will go uh, over to the left there. That train seems shorter. 
Why is that train shorter? I don't know. Never mind. Uh, and they'll deliver. This line will be clearing quite quickly, and you can see we've actually got the back end of that train off there already. Nearly completely sorted. So that is the on lines gone. Uh, what we'll have to do in a little while, and I say a little while, it's going to be uh, in quite a little while. Just make sure we got uh, that. Yeah, is get these off lines. You can see trains are still using these off lines to get over to the new lines. Um, we've still got a few to go. I, I think this is probably the last train that needs to use the off line. So we'll keep an eye on that train and we'll come back over this way. So have we got any trains with acid loading? Oh, look, the first acid train is on its way. That's brilliant. The first... Did, did I not put trains there? Okay, so we, we've got trains delivering. Hang on a second. We've got... We're just... <laughs> We're supplying scrap metal, but we're not doing anything else. Brilliant. Okay. Local authority. Build statue of company owner. Uh, build statue of company owner if we need to. We don't. Um, we are... We need... Where are my trains? I could have sworn I put some trains down here. Oh, there's one. Did I do the orders? Go here. I didn't... All right, okay. Let's clone that so that there's, there's four of them and set them on their way. There we go. So I did make them. Are we going for a thousand boats? We might get to something similar to a thousand boats. Um, all the changes around here are pretty good. This one's not a good change, but I mean, most the only bit that's not good about this line is this like length six bit there. I can't think of a way of getting under there nice and neatly, so I just haven't. Uh, the water is coming in and down, which is brilliant. We've got a orphaned river over here, which I'm just going to remove. There we go. There we are. It's fine. We've got this kind of upper bit of river. We can make it into a harbour, a viewing lake. Can you see the uh, water it's making its way down? Which is good. That is fantastic. Um, trains waiting for a free space. We'll be able to get rid of those spare depots down that line as well sometime soon. Uh, the first train's loading with... Let's see, are we doing loading loading stuff? There we go. The first train's loading with the um with the uh carbon steel is is are, are loading now. <laughs> You're already at two thousand trains, you can start thinking about performance. Yes. It's a big map and you can get some performance issues going on. I wonder what our um information is like at the moment. So we are doing it's the graphics frame rate doesn't really matter too much it's the current game speed factor if that is one or 0 0.99 you're fine if that starts dipping you're not fine <laughs> you've reached the uh the kind of the pinnacle of what your computer can handle on that point so we're getting the first lot there we're getting the oh the road vehicles haven't started yet so we'll start them off and get them ready and lined up and these ones are going to be loading up acid. So new vehicles, uh, acid trucks. We'll buy one of them. And we'll do the same thing. We'll tell it... Oh, no! Pause the game. We have demolished one of our vehicles. Oh, this happened before. Oh, I think... Oh. Okay, I thought that would be fine. Uh, let's just clone it and... Forget it ever happened. I'm sure it's okay. Uh, it's fine. Uh, let's see. All the way down here. Um, we are getting these road vehicles. That was it. Yes. So we're going to give them the same orders as these guys. But I'm not going to share the orders. In case I, in case I want to change something about it. Um, oh, I do want to change something about it. We're not going to carbon steel. We're going to be going to acid and full loading there. So let's full load of acid, not carbon steel. And then we'll full load of acid on the way back and not carbon steel. There we go. That's fine. Um, Brandon says, once again, another truck dying to that junction just because they don't work. I mean, they should, they should work. So I'm not sure what's going on. Pay the truck driver's danger money. 
Do you really think I should build a bridge for them? Did we did we end the giveaway? We did, didn't we? I didn't end the giveaway. Okay, right, all right. I'm going to re-announce that it's ending soon. I'm going to end that in a couple of minutes. Um, right, so these vehicles are currently stopped, but I can clone them out, get 10 of those ones, and send them on their way. There, that train, train 333, is on its way back there. Now, we can't actually get these boats going just yet, but we could probably get them loading. So if we get a new ship and we are moving acid... We can go down the list and try and find a good ship for acid. So we're going to sort by reliability. No, wait, speed. Maximum speed. Go down to the bottom. This one is fast and medium sized and its reliability is not too bad. That one's even uh, more reliable. We'll have that. We're going to tell it to uh, go here. Oh, I accidentally cloned all those orders. Okay, we're going to tell it to uh, full load there on acid. Did I refit for acid as I did it? Yes, I did. And then we'll give it some more orders. We'll tell it to go to this depot, this depot. Then we'll put some more depots down here and get it to drop off. So let's get those depots in. I'm going to put... I'm going to put like three across here just for... Uh, for for the uh, l just for the look, but then we'll come down here. And I think I'll do the same down here as well. Like once the water reaches this part, so we'll have three here, and then we'll have our dock. <laughs> Life insurance is standard in the contracts. We well, have to remember that Hellish Inc is the legitimate front to our evil organization. <laughs> um. Got a brand. Brand has got a spreadsheet. Uh, we have got a spreadsheet. It's for free games, though, and it's not to do with that. And it's, uh, El Chicken says it's very dangerous to a job to be a truck driver in Hellish's world. I mean, we've got lots of trucks, and it's only really that one line. Like, how many trucks have we got? We've got 195 trucks, haven't we? Oh, I didn't mean to do it there. Give me building must be demolished. I'm pressing the D key. There we go. Then I can put a dock here and I can link it to acid and we can continue with the orders. So that is this depot, the dock, the depot. Actually, let's do a different depot on the way back. Let, let, I'm, I'm just going to delete these because I think it'd be nice to have them going like along their own different sides. So let's go from the full load down to here. And on this way, we'll go on these depots. And then we'll go to the, the dock. And on the way back, we'll use the other de the other side. And we should get the ships sailing down the various different sides. And then it will go back. And that acid order is a transfer. And we'll clone that ship a few times. So there's six of them and send them on their way. Transfer the acid. We've done it. We've transferred the acid. Uh, we've got 1.3 million litres of acid. Where are those ships coming from? Oh my goodness, they're here. Here we go. The acid ship train. Isn't that cool? That looks cool. Oh, and the uh, train uh, 133 has come back. Okay. Oh, the diesel trains are coming soon. So that means we no longer have any trains whatsoever... I think I was watching, potentially watching the wrong trains. Um, in theory, no trains want to use this this line now to escape back to the old uh, right, the correct place. So we can just put that hillside back if we like. Just make it look. Hopefully, make it look a little bit more oh, natural. Yeah. There we go. That, that that'll be all right. And again here take this line out we don't need that anymore we need that bit <laughs> don't want to get rid of all of it uh we also can get rid of this tunnel there we go come on hit the right key on the keyboard i'll be all right 
And we can also get rid of these uh, extra depots now that we uh, we placed in for uh, just helping to clear the line. And there we go. We don't want them to use those depots. We want them to use the correct depots. There we go. And ah, oh, that one's been used. Then we've also got this weird little kink here to, to deal with. So now this line isn't full of trains. We can come down here and just connect that up like that. Get this other bit out of the way. Put the signals down the line properly. And then we can get rid of this extra little weird kink here as well. That we don't need. That, that was temporary. Just like everything in our Factorio Let's Play. It was temporary. Okay. There we go. Now we have three lines coming in. Nicely spaced. You can see that the uh, station is quite busy. But there's no backlog at all. Again, trains coming down this line. Moderately busy. But no backlog. And everything is flowing lovely. And look. They're actually starting to pile up at the station now. We can get rid of some of these trains because they're no longer just getting stuck on the railway line. Uh, was it this coal mine? Yeah, there we go. Okay, um, let's have a look, see what's going on here. Timman says, shouldn't the trucks be every other to both mills? Now the first 10 loads go to one mill and the second 10 mills goes to the other. I mean, yes, right at the beginning, Timman, but they'll spread themselves out. That's no problem. Um, yeah, there we go. Transferred the asset. We did that. Good. Okay, so now, where, where, where are things? Here we go. So we're still bringing it. In fact, we've got quite a lot of acid here. Has production gone up? I don't know, but it looks like we've got a couple of trains loading there, but we probably need a few more. So this line's going to get a bit busy. We'll put one more train there. Two more trains there, and three more trains there. Okay, and then our plethora of ships look like they're just lying. Oh, no, look, the first ones are on their way. The first ones are on their way, um, full of acid. They're going to come down here. The, those trucks are doing the first journeys. We've got loads of carbon steel at the carbon steel. We've got no acid waiting at acid just yet, but we've got a few trains. Probably one too many trains. Uh, we're supplying carbon steel and acid there. Um, well, we're not. We, we will be supplying acid. Production will um, will go up. Have we got a statue of company owner in town? Yep, that's good. How are these boats coming along? So look, there we go. So the boats are all going down one side of our river, which is nice. Brandon says, I've been messing around with Create in a single-player game. Man, it's a different experience. I, I presume you're referring to Minecraft, Brandon. I don't know if you saw one of the... Um, one of... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I, my brain stopped. I just started reading one of your previous messages. Uh, you said, once again, another truck died to that junction because they don't work. Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure they do work. I think it's just maybe my implementation. There was a bug uh, which they had to fix. Um, and I think they've fixed that now, so hopefully it'll be okay. So you see, look, we've got a truck that's broken down. Also, when carbon steel starts to run out and we need to get more trucks, they will space out then. Also, we've, we've only started with six. Why is there six there? Where's the other ones? We've got ten road vehicles. Have they gone already? Wh where are they? Where are the other road vehicles? Are they on top of each other? They must be set on top of each other or something. I don't know. Yeah, creating Minecraft. I've been watching Il Mango series. In fact, I think I still have... Um, the video ready to roll for the next episode on my other screen. Um fantastic series if anybody's interested head out to 
um, our Minecraft Discord where we're chatting about all that sort of stuff. Um, so now I think we're going to probably need some more of those ships because it looks like we're going to need them. There we go. Uh, now that... <laughs> Now that I look at it, the canal would, it would be better two wide instead of three. Oh, we can put stuff down the middle? We could put something down the middle, couldn't we? We're about to get our first delivery of acid. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Graham says, road vehicles do have a tendency to line up, all trying to use one signal single station at a time well oh, there we go and all the trucks are off now it depends how you plan your road layouts you can see that these um trucks split off nicely this kind of three-way star system that i've got going on here generally works quite well there we are and the uh we've got more we've got oh, i love the way the boat comes more out the water so we've got acid we've got over a thousand liters of acid to shift now and uh, um, sorry, a million liters of acid and a thousand tons of carbon steel. So we'll we'll leave that going for a little bit, but I'm almost certainly we're going to need more trucks. That's going to kickstart this whole area um, to actually get all of those supplied at the paper mill and all of those supplied down here at the paper mill. It wasn't paper mill, pipe sheet and pipe mill. We don't have enough trucks. No, we're going to get some more. Brent, welcome to the stream. We're actually close to the end. Um, but uh, thanks for coming by. Uh, did we end? Oh, I still haven't ended the giveaway. Okay, the end of the giveaway. The winner. The winner of the giveaway is Rago. Congratulations. Fantastic. You have won the game giveaway. What? <sighs> An in canal office. Uh, you could potentially do that. You could do that by having a little tiny bit of... Oh my goodness, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, quick. Want the water to fill in before the ship gets there. There we go. It's fine. Um, It may need to be bigger. Ah, oh, computer drum master. External username. Yes, so the, the winner usernames that show up on the screen, they're your website usernames. Okay, so these trains seem to be coming backwards and forwards a little bit more often now. Um, things around here need a little bit of fixing because we've got a few aircraft that are having some problems, but that's not too bad. We've got loads of ships going around in FedEx late, and I've just realized we haven't named something after the Viewer Plus subscribers. So this carbon steel acid interchange will be named after a Viewer Plus subscriber. So if you are watching and you are a Viewer Plus subscriber, Shout out in chat because we're going to spin the wheel on viewer plus subscribers who are in chat. Uh, make sure you're within the last 75 messages. Oh, all these vehicles are breaking down at the same time. Uh, we've now got nearly uh, 1.3 uh, million there. So we're definitely going to need uh, some more vehicles. So let's clone another five of them and another five of them and get them going as well. So this little setup here with the carbon steel and acid is just going to absolutely kickstart everything how are we looking down here oh my goodness wow we we need more trains because our scrap metal is maxed um we we're going to get even more scrap metal through here <laughs> what if i don't want to <laughs> well you don't have to <laughs> also remember if your name is already in the game we skip you and we move on to the next person so Let's get that wheel and let's see if it breaks uh, because I don't think I've ever used this option and it worked. Uh, but we're going to spin the uh, live stream chat on viewer plus people who have chatted uh, within the last um, 75 chats, I think it works out at. And I'm looking at a way around to make it even better. So uh, that command has been sent. Let's go and find out. <laughs> Gil Games says we can have an office on the water. Oh, it looks like it's picked up three of you. And the winner is Sabre. Well, 
got there we go have you have you already got your name in the game saber um let's have a look let's find out wizard brandon says i'm not even on that list uh yeah that is weird the saber already has something okay okay it's broke. All right, we'll just spin it on all viewer plus subscribers. We know that works. Okay. Yeah, if you wasn't there, we'll look into that. It's possibly something to do with Twitch going funny. Yeah, this is for naming something. And I'm pretty sure you're, you've already got something, haven't you? There we go. So we've got Attila the Hun. To name this area after. Um, I hope I didn't press that button too early. But I've just captured the number of chats. And again, it top... Oh, there we go. Attila the Hun. So, should we call this Attila Transfer Hun? No, that doesn't make sense. Um, something to do with that. I'll, I'll put it. I'll put the name here, and we'll think of something clever. Y yes, that's right. You already have an assembly plant. Uh, your assembly plant's over here. I knew. I knew there was something. Psychotic vehicles is what we called it. Yeah, we're we're gonna. Yeah, I'll have a look at the wheel. So uh, this is starting to get a little bit crazy now because this scrap metal is absolutely flying off the shelves. We are producing so, so much carbon steel. We still need to move the stainless steel and the slag. I don't know what needs the slag. We're shifting it all down here, and it's building up. We need more road vehicles, and the acid is building up as well. So we will get three, four, five, two, three, four, five. Another five of each vehicle's there. If we look at the uh, delivered cargo graph... You can see that that has jumped up recently. More and more cargo is moving. Um, let's see if that's actually had much of an effect down here. So production is now up to 18 tons of steel sections because all of them have been supplied. And we're getting more and more in there all the time, which is good. And the other one is over here. Production is up really high. Oh, we've got engineering supplies. Nice. So we've got a source of engineering supplies over here. That is good. We're going to have to uh, move them at some point. Uh, ES uh, here. Take. Oh, no, that's not take. Take them. Engineering supplies. Um, Attila for the flotilla. Uh, Hun Sport Hub. Interesting. Astilda the, the Carbon Hun. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not sure I can even... It needs to be something I can say quite... Actually. Astilla the Carbon. I mean, it is the transfer hub. Actually, it could be... Attila the hub, because this is a transfer hub. Keep it, keep it like neat. What do we think to Attila the hub? This can be just like the hub of everything being transferred around. I like that. I don't like this river here now. It doesn't go anywhere. There we go. I'll I'll offset that with some tree planting. There we go. Some nice little trees. At Attila the Hub. <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> kind of works, doesn't it? Um, how are we looking on the town growth side of things? Look at that. So we did actually dip in food for a little while. Uh, but sodium hydroxide is acceptable. Uh, it's just vehicles. I, th I think Attila the Hub is... Um, <laughs> I I got there before you. I think that's I think it's got to be it. I mean, there's some good suggestions in chat, but 
I know it's my own suggestion. Oh, we can't fit it all in and keep the name. Okay. There we go. Attila the Hub. Fantastic. I think it's close enough to the name to remember who it was. So thank you very much for being a viewer plus subscriber. That is how uh, we uh, we do things around here. We're getting quite close to that 75 uh, viewer plus subscriber mark. Remember, viewer plus is a subscription program where you can support me directly. There's no middle person taking a cut of the money like some other systems. So it's kind of like a Twitch sub, except uh, they're not there. They're not doing it. PayPal uh, handles your payment securely. Um, and I provide the Viewer Plus service all myself. And recently in the Viewer Plus um, lineup, we have got a new Farming Sim 17 server. It's an ad hoc server, so we turn it on and off. And we're going to be doing some gaming with the Viewer Plus subscribers on that server. The next stream for that will be on the 22nd of May. And then the next one after that should be on the 29th of May. So uh, feel free to come along and get involved with that sort of stuff. Um, one L, what? Two T one L. No, I I copied it. I. Why two T one L? I. I copied it from the username on the website. So it's Attila, or Attila, the hub. Uh, I can't think of any reason not to keep this paused because we need these vehicles to move around and start shifting stuff. It's quite nice to have some of these going backwards and forwards. What we should probably do... Oh my goodness, there's so much acid at acid. Um, is have a look at all of the stations and sort by total weight in cargo and ignore passengers and mail. No, wait. All? All? but not passengers and not mail. There we go. Um, Lots Out has so many engineering supplies we can't handle it with planes. Carbon Steel has a lot of carbon steel. Acid has a lot of acid. Hellish City Airport is uh, filling up with engineering supplies, which is fantastic. Coke Out is getting too full. We can get some more trains on that. That's not a problem. Coke out is getting full because we're delivering more um, coal um, to the Coke oven. So the more Coke we give in, the more uh, Coke comes out. And that will actually help Hellish City on the um, cast iron side of things. So cast iron. Oh, wow. Look at that, folks. 99% stored right down the board there. Obviously not vehicles. Obviously not vehicles, but we'll get there. Uh, Beantown Shorefront has plenty of engineering supplies, but we, we don't need any more. We are, if I remember correctly, we are just completely gung-ho over here. Yep, that's gung-ho. Uh, oh, that one's enhanced. Okay, so maybe we can get a, a couple more vehicles to try and get that up to gung-ho. Uh, Coke out is gone down the list. That's good. This, whatever this is, this has got way too much acid. Everything's got too much acid. So we need to build more acid ships there we go let's get like another six acid ships in there uh we've got way too much plastics presume the plastics are going over to um this yard yes they are okay so we need more plastic ships that's not ships made of plastic. That's ships delivering plastic. There we go. What are the ratings for that? Let's have a look. Uh, ratings. Very good. Okay. Have we got a statue of the company owner? Um, looks like we already have. Where? Oh, there it is. Uh, it's a Hungarian name and you write it as Attila. Um... I mean, Gil Games, I know what you're telling me. I understand what you're telling me. But looking at the website, that is their username. It's down here in the corner. I can see it. So either there's a typo in their username or maybe it's not a Hungarian name or maybe they it is and it's 
they've decided to do their name differently, but that's how they've decided to do their name. Okay, so here we've got one train loading and another one waiting to come out. I think what we should do is if there's a train waiting to come out, we should remove this signal at the back and that will stop a new train coming in on that platform. Um, I can't do it now because if I did there would be a train crash. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that. I suppose I could look at the other end and do something similar. Yeah, so this signal I'm deliberately taking out so that the train split up better. I'll be able to sort this out in a minute when that train moves. Carbon steel and acid are just so, so crazy. It's that scrapyard. Uh, we've still got more plastics down here than we need. Um, so many engineering supplies at all of these places supplying it. Like, we can spread it around all over the place. Uh, the coal mines are actually doing better. I think it's because the uh, ratings have gone up and the amount that we're um, transporting is going up. So that's good. Um, where is... Oh, here we go. So that train's going in there then and now. We can, we can remove that signal. There we go. So that will... When there is a train... Um, either in that platform or waiting to come out of that depot, it will... I didn't think of that. Quick, turn around, turn around. Okay, that, that doesn't work. We need the one-way signal there to stop the train doing silly things. There we go. Um, right, we're going to need more road vehicles. So I'll clone that one. And I'll clone it so we've got 15 more of them. Then I'll clone that vehicle and I'll clone that one so we've got 15 more of them. And we'll send them out all at the same time. Um, Gil Games says, sure, it could be a deliberate decision, but that doesn't make sense. I mean, whether it makes sense or not, I mean, it's, it's, it is their username. Um... So we're going to go by what they say. Uh, I'm sure you're right. I'm sure what you're saying is right, but I'm just going to go by what their username is because that's what they've put. Uh, Coke Out has again skyrocketed. Look at all these road vehicles. And for the most part, this is actually working really well. Look at how well these vehicles are flowing around this loop. We've got more acid being dropped off right at this very moment. That all looking good. Coke out is again requiring more trains, so let's get another four in. The Coke out line is actually quite a long line. It goes all the way down here to the Lord Blast Furnace. Uh, oh, what's happening here? What we've got over here? We still haven't shifted all the scrap metal. Wow. Okay, I think... I think this line can cope with a couple more trains. We're going to start struggling getting enough trains down one line here. Um, what's our operating profit like? Oh, it just dipped. I don't know why the operating profit just dipped. Anyway, um, what else have we got going on? We've got, yeah, that's the scrap metal. Um, this coke out is still piling up. But I guess we're getting more trains in here now. Also, have we not got a signal here after that? Let's put a signal in there. Oh, no, the signal's here on the corner. That's fine. That's okay. Wow, the trains are literally... Oh, are these not long enough? Oh, these trains are shorter. I'm going to have to go around somewhere and just make all of these trains longer. It's really annoying me. Um, how are things going on down here? It's not like piling up, is it? Mm, seems to be okay. We're getting good income from it. Both are being supplied. Uh, not all of the pipe is being transported. And I'm guessing... Is that because I put a full load order on 
for this side? I did. Okay, so now, now I'm going to get rid of that, that four load order. Do these guys have a full load order? I think they do. What's their rating? Excellent. Okay, that's fine. Because that's not bi-directional. This one at the top is bi-directional, and now the balance is in the other direction. So hopefully we can improve that. Maybe we can even get a couple more trains. Let's put a couple more trains on that. Uh, yes, the, the, the pipe is piling up. And what we got down here at the oh oh wow our trains our body trains are actually all gone this is the sort of thing right okay everything's stepping up a notch now everything is stepping up let's get a few more three more trains in there are we actually producing any tires yes we have now started producing tires our first train is there with loads of tires um wire rod out is actually starting to shift now because we are supplying all three things and we've got some more engineering supplies over here okay so let's let's put one in here take es from here oh i typed that wrong i mean unlike minecraft i can go in here and edit a sign Ah, oh, body trains. Yes, we've got body trains doing all sorts of things. How does that? How is that affecting things down here? Are we haven't actually much delivered. Uh, okay, things are starting to get put in. We're going to have more engineering supplies here as well. Engineering supplies everywhere. Uh, this station here is starting to fill up with uh, look ten length trains. Why is that a 10 minute train? Stop. Clone. Clone. Switch. 12 length. Come on now. Your big boy trains. There we go. That will help. We need to just slow... Oh, vehicle, vehicles out! Vehicles out actually has vehicles stacked up and waiting for trains. How is How cool is that? Let's get some more um, uh, trains there to pick that up. What's the ratings like? Very good. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, Brandon says, in Minecraft, you can edit signs as one of the updates. Yes, so one of the updates that's coming out to Minecraft quite soon, uh, you can edit signs. But in my opinion, that should have been in Minecraft a very, very long time ago. Uh, looks like we're actually getting a little bit of salts piling up over here. Uh, we've got a train that apparently is lost. Or is it just that they... Is there just not a platform for them? Are they waiting? What's the situation here? Where are they trying to go? Why are we telling them to service... Oh, it is just servicing. Okay. Heading for Den and Hall transfer. That's fine. It just can't because we're fine. Uh, there's too many trains. Too many trains. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. We'll keep one of them. Vehicle must be stopped. Did I grab the wrong vehicle? Oh, I stopped it going in. Okay. Swap them over. Get rid of that one. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, folks. So today we set out to go to uh, Hellish City. Upgrade this station into the beautiful station that it is. Servicing three different railway lines. And as you can see, the trains are just flowing in and out. No problems. And they split out and go their various different ways and there are no backups, no blockages, and I didn't have a train crash. And then the main objective of today is Atella the Hub to get um, acid and carbon steel into these two industries, which we are doing right now. The uh, wire rod out is actually starting to pile up for a change, and we are now getting more and more pipe put through this station 
as 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 it goes through. We've got uh, better ratings as well. Uh, we've got engineering supplies to take them if we want them. We've got loads of scrap metal. Looks like we're actually coping just with the amount of scrap metal that's coming through here. Um, I think we'd have to make the line bigger if we actually wanted to move any more. It's pretty much end to end on the trains. Pretty much end. Pipe and zinc out now has lots of zinc. I think with this feedback loop is kicking into action. We probably are going to need a few more trains here, actually. So let's clone that one a few times and send them on their way. We'll have tires soon. Yes, tires will be... I'm getting tired of waiting for tires, eh? I really am. Um, over here, I, I'm not quite sure what we're waiting to shift, but there is quite a lot of electrical parts to go. Is that, is that zinc? Where's electrical parts? How have we got... Are we just not doing anything with the electrical parts? Electrical, are electrical parts going out by boat? These the the uh, electrical parts. Okay, okay, we're we're starting to get a little bit of electrical parts building up, so we'll put them in there. Um, maybe we need to actually upgrade all the boats as well. So, um, if we go to manage list, replace vehicles. Okay, um, that's a passenger ferry, so I don't care about that. This one. Um, is all but passengers and mail. Um, this one's all but passengers and mails. And that one isn't. That one can... That's a tanker. That's different. Oh, okay. Maybe we won't replace that. We'll look at that next time, yeah? The scrap metal conveyor belt. Indeed. It is. Um, I didn't realise that this scrap metal yard was... Oh, there we go. Look. It is pretty much max. We are nearly at max production of that scrap metal yard. So the fact that... Uh, we have a snake of trains almost completely maxed out is fine because the scrapyard's pretty much maxed out. If we wanted to get more scrap in here, we'd have to go to another town. And the next nearby town, uh, let's go this way, on the scrapyard side of things. I mean, we've got this one, but it's small. So maybe what we should do is start building this city up a little bit just in case that we actually want to do it later. So we'll put uh, just a few stops in here. Connect them up. Get a road depot and we'll start the city growing. Just in case we need the scrapyard later. There we go. And also, the scrapyard's here, so I'll just buy the land nearby. Um, sort of like there. Just because I don't want any potential issues in the future. Is the city growing? No. But we do have vehicles on the way. Okay, we are producing vehicles now. It says the town is not supplied for the last three months, so that means um, four months ago it did grow. That's a town. It won't grow. Oh, is it? Oh, it is a town. That is a shame. <coughs> I just had a cough come on there from nowhere. Okay. Let's send them to the depot. <clears throat> oh, that's unfortunate. Now, remember, folks, that isn't vanilla uh, game right there. Like, oh, look at all that. I mean, I don't know how much it's doing. It's only doing 90 tons. Yeah, bad news. Yeah, okay. I think this... Uh, maybe if we do want a second one, we use this one. Oh, no, look at that. The town. The town's expanding around the scrap. We're going to have to quickly purchase a load of the land. There we go. That might keep us safe. Wow, that's a, that's a big city now. <laughs> that's probably like the third biggest city on the map, isn't it? Let's have a look. Town directory. Population. Um, 
No, it's the second biggest. Wow. So Heartbridge. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that in the preservation lands. Oh my goodness. And Kenpool. <gasps> They've just been growing and like crazy. And then, of course, we've got these towns, but they've been penned in so that they can't grow any bigger. And Bean Town. Maybe we should unpen them. Uh, oh my goodness, these docks here up in the no train. Look at these cities here in the no train zone. Oh, they're huge. Wow. Oh, there's bound to be some passengers that need shifting there. Look at this. Hellish City is right down the bottom of the list. It's like even this place. I, oh, that's the one that we're doing for the growing for the scrap metal. So we're very close to actually having a maximum city size for the maximum amount of scrap metal. Uh, scrap metal. Um, we've still got loads of acid and steel to shift. Uh, maybe we should just get more. Just clone them out. Throw another 10 on. There we go. We're going to get loads of road vehicles. Coke out is uh, just about coping. I think maybe we'd had train breakdown just a moment ago. Um, I'm not sure there's really room to put any more platforms. So hopefully that continues to go okay. Also, these trains are too short. We need to make them bigger. Uh, Jebulus's body. Again. We're missing trains. As soon as these trains... It's a long line, though. This is a very long line. Look at all this massive distance. We have to take these bodies all the way around here. There's got to be a horrendous line. Um, but we're now producing vehicles at a relatively good rate. 210 last month. Uh, we do need to get engines, and tyres are terrible. But we only have one thing going into the tyre plant. Uh, we only have one of four. So we need carbon, bl carbon black. Something around here making carbon black. So it's not... That's carbon steel. Um, that one is engineering. Okay, so it's not either of them. What's making? Is any of these things around here making carbon black? I don't think they are. Um, we need to get the stain stainless steel across. So next time, probably in the episode on at the weekend, um, we need to get stainless steel from here, round this lot, and in to there. So that's what you could probably expect on Saturday. Um, but that will be on Saturday. Uh, it's going to be all for this live stream. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you're interested in like the t-shirts and stuff, uh, you can go to uh, store.masterhellish.net if you, if you want them. But if you want to support me, if you want to help me out, then the Viewer Plus is the best way of doing that. So you can head out to my website, masterhellish.net, and check out the benefits of viewer plus uh, how many trucks do you need lots yes yes i need trucks Lot the carbon black pants yeah my pants <laughs> carbon black pants that'd be interesting wouldn't it <laughs> oh dear i think i need to have a nap i need to go to sleep um back at work in the morning but that's going to be all from me for now folks um as, as always it's been great fun uh hanging out with you all on the live stream uh, I will look to see if I can get a workaround for YouTube's weird little bug they've got in their API. And I will also uh, remind you now that uh, if you haven't put it down already, the 10th of June for my 10-year anniversary celebration uh, live stream, it's just going to be us chilling out, playing games, having fun, just see what what happens i suppose we'll probably have an open ttd game in the middle of the live stream why not um maybe we'll have one at the beginning one at the end i don't know uh, but it's going to be a fun one uh, i hope to see you then and if not 
uh, at the weekend, I might see you on Thursday because that's when we're going to do our city skylines. This is going to be, uh, I think it's our penultimate stream on C city skylines. Yeah, this is going to be our penultimate stream this Thursday on city skylines. So uh, make sure you don't miss it. I will see you soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. And from me for now, thank you and goodbye.